ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Sweetie Pies situation. So as most of you guys know, I've been watching Sweetie Pies literally from day one. I talked about the show, you know, throughout the years. I had reported on when their nephew got killed, Andre, a few years ago. And um, it's been a lot of ups and downs for this family. Family. But recently, if you guys do not know, Miss Robbie came out of nowhere on Tuesday and basically accused Jenea of withholding visitation from her grandson, TJ. And so Miss Robbie was not here for the nonsense. She posted a picture of her and TJ. And she says, happy birthday, Timmy. Grandma loves you even though I can't see you. Your daddy side of the family misses you and one day we'll see you. So that shocked a lot of people. And, you know, people started coming at Miss Robbie like, you know, have you been hacked? Is Tim behind this? What's going on? And Miss Robbie went off and she let everybody know that she may be 80 years old, but she runs her own damn Instagram account. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch these videos and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Yes, you all are right. Grandparents do have rights and I'm going to make sure I get my. I'm a fighter, not a quitter. And I'll go all the way. Thank you for your support. We wish Timmy a little happy birthday. We still love him regardless. Bye-bye. That's a lie Janae is putting up there. Tim is not running my own account. I'm 80 years old. I know how to post. This is what she said. I don't have anything to do with her and Tim. Tim ain't even thinking about her. That's the problem. You know, I decided I'm not going to stoop to nobody else's level. It's all about money. And I know I've spent a lot on TJ. So if it ain't about money, what is it about? Every mother wants their child to be with their father. So what's the problem? It's got to be about money. And the cameras ain't rolling, so you need to get off of it. And this is my last post. I'm not posting no more on this. I'll see you in court. Bye-bye. All right, so you guys just saw the videos. So after all of that went down, um, Miss Robbie and Jenea, who is still using the name Sweetie Pies, honey, anybody who still uses their ex's name, I give them the side eye just like I do Drea Kelly, okay? If the situation is that horrible, get rid of that damn name. So anyways, Jenea comes on here and she says, for the record, I'm happily married and doing great over here. I called you on FaceTime this morning while Timmy was opening his gifts to include you, and you still have a problem. You need to grow up and accept that both you and Tim are only concerned with what's best for Robbie and Tim. So then Miss Robbie replies back, and she says, for the record, it's all about you. It's showing about your son. Then Jenea says, everything I do is about my sons. You wouldn't get it because you live in a bubble where you think everything is about you. Today was Timmy's birthday. You think that he wants to spend it with his biological dad that he hasn't seen in four years? I asked you to stop getting in the middle so our relationship wasn't ruined for Timmy's sake. When you and Tim fall out again, I won't be accepting sorry. Then Miss Robbie says, how are you going to invite somebody to your house? Tim hasn't even met your husband. What are you trying to do? Set him up like you did before? Keep that in mind. Then Janaea says, Miss Robbie, if by setup you're referring to when I had Tim serve for child support and visitation in front of my house because he was hiding to avoid being held accountable, I guess. I can invite anyone to my house that I choose. Then Miss Robbie says, add Janaea Sweetie Pie, you might be married, but you must not be happy since you got time to keep this BS going. You need to grow up. You don't have a problem. I've been nothing but nice to you. I've always been by your side before you were married, so cut the BS. You don't want to fight with me? You better ask somebody because I'm not the one. You're not Janaea Sweetie Pie, so why you keep using it? Then she says, at Karen Outdoors, I called her and she told me to never call again. Since she's telling her side, side of my story, I decided to chime in. I don't normally engage in social media BS, but I guess I have time today. And then Miss Robbie says, I said I wasn't going to respond to her comment, but I'm from the hood. And if you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. I told her not to call me after she texts me what she did. And she knows it. Good night. 
Then Janaea says, Miss Robbie, without my son being born on Sweetie Pies and padding your numbers for season one, you would have never gotten a season two. You want so bad to try and make me look like you gave me something. You know the truth. You don't want me to share it. So are you the one that doesn't want the smoke? My husband, for the record, is unbothered and busy taking care of your grandson. Instead of being worried about your situation, you need to be worried about how your selfishness kept you from coming over to see your grandson for his birthday today then she says at discovering Simone I respect people that respect me she's lying about not being able to see Timmy she is mad that Tim couldn't spend time with Timmy unannounced unannounced at the last minute on Timmy's birthday they were both invited to see him on his birthday they declined the offer his cousin stopped by though I guess I'm keeping him from them too though then Miss Robbie replies by saying send my grandbaby Janaea says, stop. You started this. You know you can see Timmy whenever you want. Stop playing like the cameras are still rolling. I have plenty of receipts. I look forward to seeing you in court. I would love for Timmy to have a regular schedule to follow so he can see you. Anything would be better than this current inconsistency. Honey. So that was the drama that went down on Tuesday between Janaea and... um. And uh, Miss Robbie. And of course, Tim ended up getting involved. Um, Tim Norman, who is Sweetie Pie's son. So, of course, honey, when I tell you I was in that comment section screenshotting everything, because I knew eventually they trying to delete shit. So, what went down in the comments is then Tim got involved. And Tim is Janae's baby daddy, okay? So, Tim says, Does Sweet Pea, do you think that money and TV can erase the terms of an ex-convict and felon from a person's record? What do you think happens when I get pulled over? Same thing when I step in the courtroom. I get screwed. I've begged to see my son for years. And then, you know, you had people responding saying, you know, y'all shouldn't be doing this on social media. You know, this is a family issue, things like that. Other people were sending prayers. So then after that, Miss Robbie posted screenshots from text messages between her and Janaea. And then Janaea took to her story and basically started answering questions from people. On top of that, she also started to accuse Tim of physical abuse. So this is what Janaea said. Someone asks her, was Tim abusive? I saw signs on the show that seemed that he possibly was. And she says, yep, I should have left then. Then somebody says, what happened to the relationship with his grandmother? And Janaea says, Tim happened. Then they say, do you and Miss Robbie still have a good relationship? She says, we did until recently. Either way, I have still never kept Timmy from her. Timmy and AJ were just at her house about two weeks ago. Then they say, why keep him from his other side of his family? Is it that you're robbing him just because his father... And then Janaea says, three of his cousins just left my house. I don't keep Timmy from that side. Then they say, does the donor spend any time with Timmy? And she says, not in the past four years. Then they say, why are you guys putting your personal family business on social media? She says, I'm only responding to stick up for myself. Timmy is my number one priority and nobody's going to make me out to be something I'm not. She goes on to post pictures of Timmy and his little brother, AJ, who's just adorable. Both of them are um, showing that she had sent those pictures, Miss Robbie. Then they go on to say, do you receive child support? And she says, nope. Then they say, it seems like Tim and Miss Robbie are both narcissistic. Is this true? Hang in there. She says, definitely. Then she goes on to post receipts from somebody that she got a supposed DM for. Where they're claiming that, where they're saying that Big Tim abused her. So this person is saying, hi, I know I've never said anything to you, but if you ever need a witness to Tim's abuse, my friends and I have your back. You don't know us, but we were outside Soho that night when Tim grabbed you and threw you on the car. I don't know who you were with, but they just kind of stood by. So my friends ran over to pull him off of you. Then Tim got in his car and drove off. You were in such shock. I'm so sorry that this happened to you. We have not really talked about it or made it public in any way out of respect for you. But I just saw your post about his abuse and want you to know we can vouch for you 200%. But yeah, if you need us to back you up anytime, we got you for sure. So after she had posted that, 
Um, Tim then took to his Instagram page and he posted this. He since deleted it. But like I said, I've been following up with this story since Tuesday. So I was screenshotting every damn thing. So Tim posts this. Dear Sierra, will you please release the full prayer? Because half the prayer you gave out to these chicks finding good dudes like Russell. But they still carrying all that baggage from that one weekend trip to NBA All-Stars. That last dog ass future slash hood nigga that they thought they could change and handle. Please help them be happy and move on like you. P.S. Tell these hoes to never come for a nigga's mama, especially if the man isn't on TV anymore and gives zero fucks about his image and grew up in prison eating ramen with sardines, fucking people up over Domino's games who change the channel when Young and the Restless is coming on. Thank you, Tim Norman and all the baby daddies who are not, who are not the one or the two. Hashtag free the babies. So that is what he wrote. And a lot of people came at him and they're like, you know what, Tim, you're doing too much. You're calling your baby mama a hoe. That's not cool. Folks were then adding Oprah, saying, Oprah, come get your peoples. They're out here showing out. Honey, this Sweetie Pie's drama was a hot damn mess this week, okay? So then what ended up happening is as of today, Tim finally dropped a six-minute video basically refuting all of Janae's claims and stating that she cheated with the Sweetie Pie's crew member, honey. Says she was smashing the cameraman. <laughs> This entire situation is a hot damn mess. I want y'all to listen to what Tim had to say. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, I would never say anything disrespectful about my son's mother uh, out of respect for my son, and I want him to grow up and, and see that. But now you put me in a position where I got to defend myself because you got my 80-year-old mother out here on the Internet going back and forth, and you keep on calling the house, screaming at her, uh, asking her why she's... Uh, uh, why she's speaking the truth? Well, well, I gotta speak the truth myself, you know. And you wanna put me, pay me out to be a, a deadbeat dad? Uh, why don't you tell people how the last time I picked my son up, I had him for an hour and a half, and you started blowing me up to bring him back because he had to do his homework and take a bath. And as I, I get to the house, I take him out of his car seat. He run, he run to you. You stand in the garage. He runs into you. I'm bent over in the car. I'm getting his happy meal and his toys. I bought him in his backpack. You let the garage down on me and. You and the police come out of the backyard. You had the police waiting on me in the backyard when I was coming to drop my baby off. You set me up. You don't do that to no black man. You don't do that to no man, especially the man that spent half his life, spent ten and a half years in prison. There's nothing I will ever. There's nothing you can do to make me ever forgive you for that. There's nothing you can do to explain or justify that. You had the police waiting for me in the backyard. You set me up when I was coming with my baby from the playground. I will never come to that house again, ever. So you're not going to handle me and tell me to bring my son's toys over there. And most of the time, all, all the stuff he got in the house, I got anyway. He don't even know I got him all that stuff. And as far as child support, as far as me being a deadbeat, why don't you give me my change? Talking about a court order. Talking about a court order. Why don't you tell everybody how uh, uh, when we was going to court, you was threatening to to have tell all about our me and, all my me and my mama business about the different things we own and this bank account there here and this bank account there. After the IRS and I already came and got us for half a million dollars. After the IRS already on me. Why don't you tell them how you threaten threaten to tell the feds this and that? Tell people that. And why don't you give me my change for as child support is concerned? Why don't you sell that five bedroom, five bath house with the waterfall in the back and the swimming pool and the big jacuzzi? Why don't you sell that? Give me my change. Why don't you sell that big boy Beamer, your BMW you got you know, that I put you in after you didn't want the Porsche no more, after you didn't want the BMW before that, and, and, and go back and get that Chrysler Sebring you was driving when I when I got you. Give me my change. From all them, them $10,000 of one of one bags and Versace chains and, and all them dresses that you didn't know nothing about and them Louboutins. Give me my change from, all, from my furniture that you're still sleeping on. Did you buy new sheets? Huh? All them TVs and everything in the house? Why don't you give me my change? Cause I ain't working no more. I'm not on TV. I don't have a, I don't have an image to protect. I'm not getting a TV check. I don't have to answer the own. Own can't call me no more. I'm like, Tim, don't say this. Tim, be nice because, uh, Tim, you know, uh, we got to protect the brand. It's good for the show. I ain't got to protect the check no more. I ain't got that no more. So 
I ain't got it. The people probably gonna say I owe you about 400, 400 or so. I ain't got it. Why don't you sell some of this stuff and give me my change? Why don't you do that? And as far as me being abusive, why don't you tell the people how you used to come up? Why don't you tell the people to call down to the marquee and ask uh, Andre and Melanie how they used to put you out of the club when you come in there and, and try to start fights with me? How they have to call the police on you and you outside on the parking lot kicking my car? Huh? Why don't you have to, why don't you tell them how I used to call people over to the house, call my security over there, you taking hammers to my car. You know, I can't leave. You coming to the restaurant messing with me. Why don't you tell them how when we was in Beverly Hills with the whole family out here with all these white folks and you drunk in the lobby, they gotta pull you up off of me. You you taking my money out of my bags and throwing my money all over the lobby. They gotta go to your mother's room and get your mother to come stop you. And I'm abusive. Why don't you tell that? Why don't you tell all that? And why don't you tell them how the reason I left you in the first place was because you decided to sleep with the help. You slept with the cameraman. Why don't you tell them that? On and Pilgrim, we had to get a whole new TV crew around season three because you slept with the cameraman. Shout out to Jose. I ain't got no ill, Ill feelings towards you, bro. She needed some attention. You gave her that. But you, you, you was with the boss when you slept with the help. So that's why I left in the first place. And I didn't turn back. And every time we don't want to film with you, you threatened to take my son, you would let my son film. That's the only reason you was still on the show. And my mama forgave you. My mama forgave you because she loved that baby. So I stayed quiet. And they let you and they let you film. Cause I was being a, trying to be a good dude. Even though I my mama forgave you. Monique and everybody else forgave you. I ain't never forgive you. Why don't you tell them how you were never my son was never even on the last episode, last season of the show at all. Money could have went towards his college fund. They want to bring him to L.A. He can't come unless you come. He can't come to Houston unless you come. We got a family trip down to Orlando. You come on down to Orlando. You want to let my son film with me. Why don't you tell them that? Monique can't bring him to see me. My mama can't bring him to see me. Charles can't bring him to see me. I beg you for years to see my son. I beg you. I've been patient all this time hoping you get over it. I was happy you had a new guy. I, I pray you stop thinking about my ass. But you got a new guy and you still calling me, crying, snotty nose. The night before your wedding, you called me crying, snotty nose. And I told you about that and married that Duke, he's a good guy. I ain't never heard nothing bad about that man, so I ain't said a word about him being around my son. Ain't not one person told me nothing bad about that dude. He's supposed to be a good dude. So I've been quiet, trying to give you your time. But now you want to take him from my, my mama and my family can't see him either? You want to put me out to the world to be a, to a bad, be a bad guy? And people ask why Monique ain't dealing with, where's Monique? How come Monique don't stop the, Monique don't fuck with you no more? You want to run around town, act like you a business person? Why don't you tell everybody, I started that business. I put up all the money, got the paperwork done. That business is for Monique. And you took half the money. You took half the money for Monique and you had Monique doing all the work. And then you took the money and went and opened the gym for your guy. But this is cool. Uh, no problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Monique just separated herself. You know what I'm saying? We separated and got Monique a whole new business. She good. Why don't you tell the people how every time Monique was had a new guy, somebody she was talking to, you creep behind her back and deal with the new guy she talking to. That's why Monique don't deal with you. Why don't you run tell all that? Huh? You don't want to tell all that, do you? You want to do the first thing a lot of women do nowadays when they, they upset. They want to say a guy's abusive. Man, you, man. All right, so you guys just heard what Tim had to say. So this entire situation is sad. It's sad to see how much this family has fallen off. They've dealt with a lot. I mean, damn near all their restaurants have closed down. The original Sweetie Pies is gone. Um, they have the one still in Missouri, the one in L.A. that I used to go and eat at and support. They shut down, you know, probably like two years ago. Um, many of the restaurants that Tim opened have just, you know, shut down. So the money that he once had, he definitely does not have anymore. Now, I believe that they're all... You know, they all play a part in this. I do believe a lot of what Tim is saying as well. Because, you know, after all, my hips don't. Because after all, you know, them hips don't lie, honey. Okay. We all know about Tim Norman's hips. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Okay. We all know about Tim Norman's childbearing hips, bitch. Okay. <laughs> But anyways, I believe a lot of what he had to say as far as Janae's character. Um, he did really did used to look out for her on that show, buying her whatever she wanted. She knows how to play that role 
Because for the most part, if she was so astute, she wouldn't have even dated Tim in the first place, okay? Let, let's keep that real. She likes to come off like she's this highly educated, you know, just, you know, pretty young black woman who's just trying to make it through life. She wasn't a teenager. She was a grown woman. Like, who gets with somebody who just did 10 years in prison and you get pregnant by him that quickly, and I remember when she got pregnant, a lot of people were shocked, like, damn, that don't even seem like her type, you know, because she always came off as the more bougie one. But so she gets with Tim, she gets pregnant, you know, they go through the whole pregnancy, little Timmy's born premature, all that stuff. And I felt like she was really trying hard to marry into that family. She wanted to be a part of that legacy. And, you know, for whatever reason, Tim just did not want to marry her. It was like something that he saw in her. It was like, okay, I know we have a child together. We got to make it work, but I'm not trying to make you my wife either. And, you know, for a long time, I did feel bad for Janae. I thought, you know, with Tim worked too much, he's not putting a lot of time into the relationship. You know, he's the bad guy. But what really made me start giving Janae the side eye about her character was in the last season because I like Monique I love Jim's cousin Monique she's a really sweet woman you know and she went into business with Janaea they had started their own business and we literally watch Monique breaking down crying and she's basically asking her so-called best friend at the time you know for help with this business you know she feels like all of this has just broken them apart and Janaea is coming out so narcissistic she's dismissing Monique's feelings she wants to make it all about her and at that point that's when I really saw Janaea for who she was so I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a snippet of that clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, I love art. He's yeah. a good guy. But then you also helping his business grow, but didn't think about your own. It's not investing in something that you and I share. That's, you know, that's a partnership. I just feel like maybe it's something that you're more passionate about. I never anticipated like going into this, like sitting in an office, doing billing, doing this, doing all that. I didn't want to do that. That was never what I wanted to do. It was more of like a, it was more of like I want to sit back. I feel like Ascend was something that I was kind of thrown into. When I went in and thinking that you were going to be my business partner, everything was going to be 50-50. My phone goes off 24-7. Even though I have a nine to five, I'm leaving there. I'm going to Ascend. And then I'm getting calls all nights all weekends and I feel like everything's been thrown on me and I'm like and I feel like to me don't seem to care I don't want to say that I don't care very but I feel fair. like now it's I'm checking fair. up on everybody but I don't complain I just do it because I know this is a business and that's what happened and I just want the same from everybody else and it's stressful for me but I don't want to come to you which I feel like I shouldn't have to come to you because you're my partner well you should have said something and then even afterwards when you I brought it to you I when am. I said something to you Mo, you know how I am so now I'm supposed to be able you, to read you your just mind say, look Monique I haven't been hearing from you what's going on but you didn't so get I mean, it, it wasn't that I didn't care, Monique. It wasn't, I just didn't want to continue to bother you. So what the f am I going to continue issue? to call you for? What issue did I have? With what? I've never had an issue with our relationship. Monique, our you friendship. don't even, you have, listen, whenever you have an issue, you keep your issue bottled up to the point to where you are like almost like avoidant. There's plenty yeah. of that I wanted to talk to you about that I haven't been able to go to you to. Come to me. Come to me then. What you up? know I have been hustling my ass off and it ain't been about me. It's been about me and you. Everything that I do has always been for me and you, Nia and TJ. When I think of a sin, I think about, okay, how can I make this it? Is, a this is like way deeper than a sin for me. And I feel like I can't talk to you. I feel the same way. I went into this business. I was excited. I was doing it with my best friend, with Art. She's a totally different person. And I feel like I'm by myself. So we just gonna just keep we're gonna be a business partner don't see each other i can't Look. talk to you okay i don't know you anymore i can't talk to you okay the person that you are right now is not the person that but i used to be close with all right so you guys just saw that clip so like i said i believe that the truth lies somewhere in the middle i'm not saying tim is perfect and he's 100 right nor am i saying that janae is perfect and she's 100 right or wrong you know what i'm saying i I honestly thought Janae had moved on now. She's doing her fitness thing. She had another child with AJ. She looks damn good. She's lost ton of weight. You know, she looks very, very good um, right now. And it seems like she's been keeping herself busy with that. But then when all this stuff took place, it's just like, well, damn, what's really going on? You know, and the fact that Tim has not seen his son in four years to me is kind of disturbing. 
you know, one, if he can go to court to go fight all these litigations with Sweetie Pie and the restaurants and him being sued constantly, he should be able to go to court and go fight for visitation. There's no reason, regardless of whatever issue they have together, whatever transpired between Janae and Tim, there's no reason that he has not seen his child for four years. And I believe they both play a part in that. Janaea comes off as bitter and spiteful. And Tim just comes off as, you know, once he doesn't want to be bothered with something, he just is like, whatever it is, what it is. And you can't have that attitude towards your child. You can have that attitude towards a restaurant or something that's not as significant. But as far as your child, you can't have a it is what it is attitude. She won't let me see my son. So, oh, well, that's not OK. You know, and he's also saying that he doesn't pay child support because he's spent so much money on her and got her the best of the best and purses and shoes and that might be you know true but if he really wanted to see his son he could still pay something in child support and that would definitely you know what i'm saying segue into him fighting for custody fighting to see his child but tim has to step up and want to do that you know so this entire situation is unfortunate i don't think miss robbie should be cut out of that baby's life you know she's been there with timmy from day one and for her to put this out there on social media, was she being messy? Absolutely. But was I here for it? Absolutely. Okay. But I feel like Miss Robbie's hurt because she feels like she's caught in the middle between her son and her, you know, son's baby's mother's BS. And all she wants to do is be a grandparent. I just hope for all of them and for Timmy's sake, they can all eventually work everything out. But I think that them having that show on television... I don't really think it helped them. I think reality TV, like I've said this before in the past, there's like a curse attached to reality TV. You know, if families aren't breaking up, if relationships aren't ending, then you have stuff like this. I mean, you had the poor nephew, you know, he was on there and people thought he was soft. And then, you know, to try and shed that image, he started gangbanging. He ended up getting killed. And, and that was just really sad, you know. And then you go from that to, you know, Monique and Janaea's relationship just totally breaking off. Um, all the people that are part, all the people who were a part of the show, they all lost their job. Um, Bruce, who was like one of like the head cooks. And I really loved him. I met him in L.A. He's not even on social media no more. He done deleted his Instagram page. So I don't know what is going on. And it seems like a lot of the restaurants that they had at one point in time, they have like literally just a handful of restaurants left. All the other ones ended up being shut down. So, you know, the show, you know, ran its course for what it was. But I remember near the end, it just started getting whack. It's like, you know, we're trying to watch Miss Robbie revive her singing career. Like, we're not here to see her sing. You know what I'm saying? We want to, you know, see all this stuff that's going on with the restaurant. So, I don't know. I just wish all these people the best, honey. But I just wanted to do a whole breakdown for folks who are trying to figure out what the hell happened with Sweetie Pies and Miss Robbie and Tim and Janae and why they were going back and forth. I hope this answers all y'all's questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown, honey. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning sweetie pies do you believe what tim has to say um are you team Janaea? do you believe what she has to say or do you feel like me that the truth lies somewhere in the middle and nobody's really innocent in this entire fiasco so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the like button and most importantly don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces We'll